Hello everyone, welcome to Everyday Affairs, where we bring you news on events and occurrences from across the world, particularly in Nigeria. If this is your first time on this channel, kindly subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you can get notification whenever a new post is updated. Once again, welcome on board to Everyday Affairs. Okay people, another interesting news for you today. It says, Israelis Prime Minister's wife, Sarah Netanyahu, convicted of misusing public funds. The wife of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was convicted by an Israeli court on Sunday of fraudulently using state funds for meals under a plea bargain which saw her admit to lesser charges. While the ruling court, while the ruling court shot a high-profile trial, the Netanyahu family's legal woes are far from over. The veteran premier himself faces possible indictment for robbery, fraud, and breach of trust in the coming months. In a deal approved by Judge Avitan Cheng, a Jerusalem magistrate court, Sarah Netanyahu was found guilty of exploiting the mistake of another person. She was also fined 10,000 shekels, which, is, which translates to 2,200 pounds and ordered to reimburse the state a further 45,000 shekels, which uh, translates to 9,925,000 pounds. The deal reached between the sides is worthy and appropriately reflects the deeds and their severity on the criminal level. Judge Cheng said in his ruling, the 60-year-old, a high-profile presence at her husband's side throughout his long tenure in office, was initially charged in June 2018 with fraud and breach of trust for buying catered meals despite the presence of a cook at the PM's official residence. The amendment indictment approved on Sunday dropped the graft charges. In a small room at the Jerusalem Magistrate Court, packed with journalists, Mrs. Netanyahu told the judge she was aware of the charges. Her lawyer and a prosecutor then re requested that the court accept the deal. As in every plea bargain, each side makes concessions, sometimes hard concessions. Prosecutor Erez Padan said, it is right and proper for the public interest to bring this case to an end. Mrs. Netanyahu's attorney, Yossi Cohen, told the court his clients had already been heavily punished by the media. Four years of ugly leaks and denigrations constituted inhuman punishment, he said. No other person could have withstood this. This lady is made of steel, Mr. Cohen added. Netanyahu has a reputation for finding legal loopholes to receive state funding for her household's, re household's relatively high expenses. The original charges accused her of paying $100,000, that's £80,000, for hundreds of meals from a variety of well-known Jerusalem businesses while falsely declaring where there were no cooks available at the residence. The caterers included an Italian restaurant, a Middle East grill joint, and a sushi house. Sarah Netanyahu is also being sued by a former cleaner who claims the premier's wife mistreated her. All right, people, you can see what is happening. Can this happen in our country? Drop your thoughts, drop your comments below. Thank you.